Hey to you. I want to welcome you to another episode of How I Animate Clip Studio Paint. Hey everybody, we back. I'm happy to be back. I enjoyed my time off. I hope you enjoyed your holidays. I hope you're still celebrating Black History Month. But today we're going to be talking about using the pen tool, specifically the G Pen. I want to go over the settings and exactly how I do it when I usually animate or draw or ink anything. But before we go there, I just want to let you guys know that we just got the membership feature. We got the whole super chats and the stickers and stuff like that. I'm not trying to push that on you guys yet. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with those, what types of videos to do with those. But if you have any suggestions, any ideas for stickers, super chats, all of that stuff, let me know in the comments below so I can add a little bit more value to your time when you come to my channel. Okay, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into this video. So when it's time to ink something, I'm coming over here and I'm bringing up a vector layer, which I have a shortcut for, which is Control W. Then you can name your vector layer, you can name it ink, and there you go. But usually the vector layer is a um, box within a box and you could just hit plus and um, you'll create a vector later. I'm pretty sure you guys seen it, but if you don't know how to do it still, you can come to layer since not everybody has a shortcut. You can create new layer, create vector layer. Boom, same thing, same process. But so after we've sketched everything out with our pencil tool, we wanna make these lines clean. So if I bring this if I, let me zoom in a little bit and uh, bring the opacity down. We did that with the pencil tool. And now I click on this pen tool. Usually how this comes is with the anti-alias on none. And let me show you the difference of drawing, of inking with an anti-alias and without the anti-alias. So if you got the pen tool, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit bigger so you can see the difference. The line will come like this. And if I zoom in very closely, you see all of these bumps, these ridges? It's because with the anti-alias, there's no smoothing out your line. And each setting, this is in tool properties of when you click on your uh, pen tool, each setting has a little bit of smoothening of your strokes. See, they're a little bit smaller. And let's do the last two. Zoom in on them. And you get you get the uh, you get the idea here. And that's the smoothest one. So when I'm doing my inking, I'm using the smoothest one. So just in case you guys were wondering, when I was talking about the pen tool and wondering why you couldn't get your lines to look similar to mine when it came to inking your animation, that is why. Because your anti-alias was not on. So let me do a couple lines here. There's too many of these for me to do them all. It'll take forever. But this is the difference between anti-aliasing when you inking. See that? And then I'll do the other pants leg all the way. And this is what I mean when I say there's a big difference between the two. And one makes your drawing look like pixel art, like it's made for a 8-bit game. And the other one makes your stuff look like a pretty high quality drawing. Now, if you want to make your drawing even more high quality, I would suggest to bump up the size of the canvas that you're working on. Um, and you can go about doing that by hitting edit, change image resolution, 
and then you just bring up the size of the canvas. And all that does is makes it so it's a larger uh, file in the first place and it can keep a lot more data. But most of the time, we don't need it that big unless we're designing something that's going to be like very, very detailed. But that's, that's the case right there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this complete animation. This is five, five different poses. And then I'll show you the dance at the end. But I am so happy to be back, you guys. I hope that you're happy to see this new video. And as always, anime life forever.